Hi, welcome to my channel. At kung bago ka lang dito, ay huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at pindutin lang ang notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa aking mga bagong mat tutorial videos. Today, ang pag-aaralan natin ay Angles of Elevation and Angles of Depression. And after going through this lesson, you are expected to illustrate Angles of Elevation and Angles of Depression. In this lesson, we will determine if the given angle is angle of elevation or angle of depression. This method is commonly used by surveyors using spatial equipment to determine the exact measurement in measuring things that are difficult to measure. So, simulan natin class sa definition of terms. First, line of sight. So, line of sight is an imaginary line that connects the eye of an observer to the object being observed. Next is angle of elevation. So, angle of elevation is the angle from the horizontal to the line of sight of the observer to the object above. And angle of depression. Angle of depression is the angle from the horizontal to the line of sight of the observer to the object below. At para mas lalo nyo pang maintindihan, halimbawa class, ito yung eye or yung mata ng observer. At dito sa eye level ng observer, meron tayong tinatawag na horizontal line of sight. At kung mayroong horizontal line of sight, meron din tayong line of sight above the observer. So, ito class, kapag yung observer natin ay tumingin sa kanyang taas. So, ito yung tinatawag o nagkakaroon tayo ng line of sight above observer. At sa pagitan class ng horizontal line of sight and line of sight above observer, dito nabuo ang tinatawag nating angle of elevation. At kung ang observer naman class ay tumingin naman pababa, so ito naman yung line of sight below observer. At sa pagitan ng horizontal line of sight and line of sight below observer, nandito naman class ang angle of depression. Ngayon class, para maging mas familiar tayo sa horizontal line of sight, Line of sight, angle of elevation, and angle of depression. So, subukan natin class, i-identify kung nasaan dito ang horizontal line of sight, line of sight, angle of elevation, and angle of depression. So, first class is horizontal line of sight. So, yung horizontal line of sight class, napakadali lang pong makita. So, ito lang class yung line na naka Higa. So, dito class, ang horizontal line of sight natin is yung uh, ray OA. So, ito class, yung ating horizontal line of sight. Ray OA. Next is line of sight. So, ang line of sight naman natin class dito, ang pagbabasihan natin kung nasaan class yung observer. At uh, based dito sa figure class, ang observer natin ay nandito po sa may taas. Ayan. So, kung nandito siya class, siya po ay nakatingin pababa. So, ito class yung ating magiging line of sight. So, ray OB. Next is angle of elevation. So, dito class, wala po tayong angle of elevation. Kaya ang ilalagay lang natin ay none. So, bakit po wala tayong angle of elevation? Kasi class, ang angle of elevation, based dun sa uh, sinabi ko sa inyo kanina, yung angle of elevation class ay makikita natin sa pagitan ng line of sight above observer at ng horizontal line of sight. Kaya lang class, dito po sa ating Uh, figure, wala po tayong uh, line of sight above observer. Okay, next is angle of depression. So, ang angle of depression natin dito class ay makikita natin sa pagitan ng 
horizontal line of sight at ng line of sight below observer. So, since meron tayo dito class line of sight below observer at meron tayong horizontal line of sight, so meron tayo dito class angle of depression. So, ang angle of depression natin class nandito po. So, ito po yung angle A O B or angle B O A. So, kahit po magkabaliktad class yung pagkakasulat, basta po yung O ay nandoon po sa gitna. So, angle of depression is angle A O B. Okay, so subukan natin class sa ating pangalawang figure, horizontal line of sight. So, yung horizontal line of sight natin class, Ulitin ko lang ulit, ito yung line na nakahiga para po madali nyo matandaan. Horizontal line, nakahiga. So, ray o y. Next is line of sight. So, line of sight natin mula dito class sa observer. So, papunta naman dito, papataas. So, yung line of sight natin is ray o x. Next is angle of elevation. So angle of elevation, uh, ito kalas ay makikita natin sa so, horizontal line of sight and line of sight above observer. And since meron tayo dito class line of sight above observer, so nandito class yung ating angle of elevation. Sa so, pagitan class ng horizontal line of sight and line of sight. So, ito ay angle X o Y or angle Y o X. So, kahit po magkabaliktad, basta yung ating O ay nandun lang class sa gitna. At para naman sa angle of depression, so ngayon naman class, wala tayong line of sight below observer. So, wala din tayong angle of depression. Ngayon class, pwede nyo subukan dito sa ating tatlong figure. I-post nyo muna at pagtapos na kayong magsagot, pindutin lang ulit ang play button para malaman nyo na din kung alam nyo na class or kaya nyo nang mag-identify ng horizontal line of sight, line of sight, angle of elevation, and angle of depression. So, pakita na natin class isa-isa ang mga sagot. Horizontal line of sight is... Ray O B. Next line of sight is Ray O A. Angle of elevation is Angle A O B or Angle B O A. And angle of depression, none. Next horizontal line of sight Ray O X. Line of sight Ray O Y. Angle of elevation, none. Angle of depression, angle X O Y or angle Y O X. Next, horizontal line of sight, ray O P. Line of sight, ray O R. Angle of elevation, none. Angle of depression, angle P O R or angle R O P. So, tatandaan lang class in identifying whether the given angle is an angle of elevation or an angle of depression, identify the horizontal line of sight. Usually, it is the horizontal line in the figure. Next, identify whether the given object is above or below the horizontal line. Number three, if the object is above the horizontal line, then use angle of elevation. And number four, if the object is below the horizontal line, then use angle of depression. At para naman class sa inyong learning task ngayong araw, complete the table below by identifying the needed information. So gagawin nyo lang class yung ginawa natin katulad ng ginawa natin kanina. Identify nyo lang kung nasaan dito ang horizontal line of sight, line of sight, angle of elevation, and angle of depression. So, meron tayo class na tatlong figure dito. 
at dalawang figure naman dito. Then, dito naman class sa inyong assimilation, sasagutin nyo lang class ang mga sumusunod na katanungan. Number one, how did you identify the line of sight, angle of elevation, and angle of depression? Number two, what ideas have you learned from this activity? Number three, do you think you can use these ideas in your daily life? And number four, give and illustrate at least two situations in your life involving angle of elevation and angle of depression. And for assessment class, draw the features presented by the information in the problems given. Assume the buildings, ladders, etc. are all on level ground. So hanggang dito na lang class, kung meron po kayong hindi naintindihan at meron po kayong gustong itanong, ilagay lang sa ating comment section at isa-isa po natin niyang sasagutin. Muli, maraming salamat sa panonood. God bless.